You know, throughout the last two years of moving here after the breakup, I really, for the first year, found myself, I feel. And the second year, I'm reflecting on how I didn't get as much work done as I planned to. Like, closing out this year, this house should have been done. That's what I wanted. Anyways, nobody, I feel like, actually has told me that renovations truly suck. <laughs> like, now I know when I want to do another house, I'm gonna build. And it's interesting because the renovation is just on the trailer, really. I haven't touched the house and I love my house, but I had a breakdown the other day just freaked out. I felt like I was being buried alive. But right now I'm honestly sitting here like laughing at overly ambitious Rachel two years ago. Like not laughing at her like how cute is what I'm thinking. Because now I'm sitting here. I'm just kind of like this isn't cute. But my thing is don't feel bad if you have to ask for help. Don't feel weird or a burden or don't feel how I do. Like I feel like so much like a burden when I am trying to work through things with the help of others, which is just healthy. <laughs> it's definitely at my lowest the other day. Over the last couple of weeks, I've been working on the trailer when I don't feel so depressed or like it's defeating me. So it's taken way longer to fix the leak, do the drywall, cut the floor, all that stuff. But today we're really gonna bust through it. There was a massive leak from the roof, from the top, like something I could not control. And it just caused this internal damage in the middle of the trailer, which made me avoid this project at all costs. Realistically though, fixing drywall is not hard. It's just tedious and annoying because we spent so long doing it and ripping it down really, really broke my little DIY heart. Hanging drywall on the ceiling is definitely not ideal by any means to do solo. And you can totally buy a drywall jig. I just wasn't gonna order a drywall jig for a hundred bucks and wait for it to fix the ceiling. So I jerry-rigged a two by four jig that I just shoved up as an extra arm. You should be using two of those, but I just had material on hand for one. Here you see me adding holes for the two recess lights that we lost when that piece came down. These are really easy to install. You literally just drill a hole. You have a box up in the two by four frame with a wire that pops on down and then you just plug the light in and pop it into the drywall hole. You don't need a can, which is really fabulous. Now, uh, the reason that it's leaking is because the external metal of the trailer is not in good shape. So the roof was leaking. That's something I tried to weatherproof, but then that's out of my control. I need to build a whole new roof around the windows. That's my bad. I did not put the weatherproofing black sheeting. So I looked up different ways and talked to my pops actually of how to weatherproof after the fact. And we came up with this idea of this aluminum weatherproofing tape, or I just put that around the windows. And then I also caulked and sealed any kind of opening that I saw. all your plans, right? You really are. After I weatherproofed the best that I could, seeing where the leaks were happening, that's when I felt comfortable going in and actually like skim coating and sanding and moving forward with painting. I'm basically just touching up the drywall job that we did. <laughs> Let's not even talk about how many episodes ago. Here I am using a Kills drywall primer, like specifically to prime the drywall. And I've never actually used this before. So let me know in the comments down below if this is part of your painting step process. I most definitely should be doing this tonight too, but I'm tired. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't move your tail like that, sir. 
Do not move your tail like that. I don't want to kill you because I know you have a purpose. I know. I know somewhere, somehow, you make sense. I'm sorry. How did it just disappear? I really do think there is something very romantic about the life in between these projects and that's why you're starting to see me implement these as transitions because realistically that's what's been happening through these projects is me reaching out to my friends asking for some quality time because I just need emotional support. Resetting my house, loving on my dog and just taking the time to have a slow morning. I'm doing all these little things to really try to combat this dark little chapter that I'm in. This is going to be in the kitchen and that's the floor. This is too yellow for me. This one seems great so far. And I think if we were to choose that one, you would need a more beige or tan tile. This is pulling a little bit more gray. The color that we are using here is called Bit of Sugar by Bear. And it's kind of fitting because I love sugar. So actually it might would be like a lot of sugar. I don't know. Once I put the red oak up against that white with the tile and the floor, it blended very nicely. Now I am using a flat matte finish, which is not recommended for living spaces. I am using the flat throughout the entire trailer. Don't at me, okay? This is where I truly love HelloFresh. I am so tired, but I am also so hungry. I don't want to think about anything. And I get to just like open this up, look at my options, pick one, and cook it. And I just absolutely love that I don't have to think about what I'm gonna eat, it's just right here. So, let's get it. You know your girl's a fan of HelloFresh for the convenience, but also it's because I'm not getting stuck in a recipe rut. HelloFresh has meals covered with a weekly selection of over 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items all delivered directly to your door. Making meals at the end of a busy day just got so much easier with foolproof step-by-step -step recipes ready in around 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh offers veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals. You can easily customize your meals as well with Hello Custom by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading to choice proteins, or even adding protein to a veggie meal. It's never been easier to eat your way. If you guys are interested in joining me in the HelloFresh family, you can head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code METS65. Yes, METS65 for 65% off plus free shipping. You can head on over to HelloFresh.com and use my code METS65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Thank you so very much, HelloFresh, always for sponsoring your girl. Let's get back into the DIY at hand. It's fun respecting the fact that I'm in a tough spot and working on the trailer when I feel like it because when I come back in and accomplish these tasks that I've just been kind of staring at that I think are daunting, they're really fairly easy. So plumbing the trailer and closing up that wall and moving forward with doing some subflooring. Can we just give Rachel nuts one thing today? I am opting to do natural flagstone throughout the entire trailer. Please bear with me. I started putting down hardy backer because I was going to hardy backer tape in red guard but once i started realizing i'm not getting this trailer super wet like i'm not throwing water on it or anything crazy i asked a couple of my diy friends like realistically should i be spending a ton of extra money to be doing this hardy backer the tape and red guard or should i just put the flagstone with mortar directly on the subfloor and seal it you know it makes my life a lot easier we're saving on budget but I'm not gonna be getting this trailer floor insanely wet. Like it's not a shower, it's not a bath, it's just we're walking on it. When it comes to the windows, uh, I definitely did not do the perfect drywall job. So you can see the wave when you get to the frame of the windows. To hide those mistakes, I decided to add some one by two select pine to the top three sides. And then the bottom for the windowsill, I cut down and added some finish to some reclaimed lumber I had on my property to give myself some quote unquote storage or just more space to put stuff in this space because it's such a small bedroom. Whoa. Right. Yeah. That was actually really a cool sound though. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a little bit of a wild idea because we are not moving this guest house. It is just staying put. I decided to grab some buckskin flagstone and make that the floor for the entire trailer. So what you see us doing here is roughing in to ensure that I like it. And of course my crazy ass likes it and we wanted to move forward.
right here you see me coming in with some mortar and I definitely did not take the amount of time I should as I will with the remaining of the trailer because I'm just testing this in the bedroom to see how it goes installing the flagstone. I didn't take the time to level each piece to itself and that is something I did regret right after we made our way almost into the hallway. After we laid the floor and cut it down and we were happy with it, we started to mix up this grout called prism grout. It's in a box and you mix it for the instructions on the box and you have to wait five minutes for it to settle. One thing that we learned our second round when we're grouting is don't let it settle. Now you guys are gonna come after me because this is not how you grout, but also I don't typically grout flagstone learning process we decided to make it more of a self-leveling just due to the fact getting it in the uneven spaces of the flagstone that we laid since you know it's our first run it was easier to work with something more wet and press that in versus a traditional like thicker grout where it's a lot easier to apply the grout that's thick because everything is level now we know though moving forward in the trailer everything needs to be pristinely level Oh my God, is it just so nice to sit back and even though this took way longer than anticipated, to stand in my bedroom of the trailer guest house that's gonna be the home I get to live in where there's no mess, it's done, it's pristine, while I renovate the main house. It tripped me out like, oh my God, this is my bedroom. What are you talking about? Now we can decorate and build a bed and like actually start to physically move out of renovation station of the trailer and <laughs> start to full blown style, like what? This is literally, I'm obsessed with this. You do not even know what's about to hit you guys on my channel. Holy two years it took. Two years it took for me to get here, but here we are, baby. I didn't give up. I did not try to sell my property before. I wanted to because I was getting deflated. I went through the dark. I'm coming into the light and uh, let's get it. You gonna check it out? You're gonna shut me off the roof? What the heck? Do you love it? Do you love it? Do you want to go for ice? Oh my god, it's done! Oh my god, it's done! Oh, oh, oh. oh man, this is pretty good. Come on. 